Beautiful, beautiful. Welcome to your day one, five day women's body confidence challenge. I'm just so excited to um, be here to host this uh, first time, you know, ladies only event. We're going to go through so much together in the next five days. And it is such an honor to actually be a collaborator with Master, Master Shui Hashina, and I'm created team. The master will come on in a second to um, speak with all of you and we're going to run this this journey with you step by step this whole week we're gonna um, go through many different things we're gonna laugh together we're gonna maybe cry together um, depends on you know how much you want to open up right so um, before we begin promise me one thing everybody can you do that Type in the chat box if you can promise me that one thing. Say promise. Hi, Chibaria. Hello. <laughs> okay, I may have to ask you something. <laughs> I can't find the link. But anyways, yes, promise. Okay, you have your, oh my God, I love it. My, my internet connection is a lot faster now. Promise. Okay. Promise that, let me expand this. Promise me that all of you, if you want to get a result, you want to get a result to uh, feel better about yourself, to have better confidence and to feel more powerful, you have to play full loud. All right, promise me you're gonna play full loud in this five days. So type in the chat box, you're ready to play full loud. Wow, you guys, oh my God, hello Anna. Hi Sarah. Okay, great. Play full loud. Why I'm asking all of you to play full loud is because when you keep your mind open, okay, and also when you keep yourself open to receive, you know, new information and put your actions in there, you know, learn the things and apply them right away and go out and take actions, you will start to see the shift. You will start to see the progress and very soon you will start to get the result too. So promise me, everyone, we're gonna play full out in the next five days, okay? And keep your mind open. How do you play full out? First thing is to keep your mind open. Okay, so everybody say play full out and mind open. <laughs> That's very, very awesome. Okay, so let me see. Wow, we have so many screens going on here. Okay, so Master, just let me know whenever you're ready because I know the ladies are dying. <laughs> the uh, the the women creators in our circle are dying to see what master has to say. And I know a lot of you are curious about like, oh my God, you know, we have master here to empower us women. He's doing something for us. This is amazing. Okay, so master just said he is ready. So everybody, are you ready for master? Okay, I would like everyone to bring your hands together and give the warmest welcome to our dearest mentor, Master Sri Akashana. Namaste, everybody. Uh, so I think it's a wonderful um, uh, challenge that we are putting together here for all of the all of the ladies here. Are you ready? We have some sounds coming in. Okay, yeah, that's good. So uh, I think it's a very, very, very nice, very nice challenge we were putting together here. That Jing has um, put the workbook together and the syllabus and what she's going to be running through with you guys. When she was running through it with me over the past month in in setting this up, I was extremely excited for the reason that right now some of you may be aware we are going through a whole shift on this on this planet right now. And the, the whole universe is going through a shift. And uh, they call it entering into the age of Aquarius. And there's a lot of um, will, uh, the feminine energies, divine feminine energies are very strong, very powerful. And some may be aware and you'll be able to see more and more so in different areas of life. You'll see uh, in entrepreneurship, in leadership, you'll see more female entrepreneurs and more female leaders uh, rising up right now. It's a very important time and it's time for the shift to happen. And so that's why when I, for, when Jing first um, came as part of our circle and she was talking about um, how she 
uh, empowers uh, empowers people and empowers women particularly um, in in living their dream and in, in living to their fullest potential. I was extremely excited about it, not because she's another motivational speaker, but because I see two aspects which I think a lot of people don't cover. And one, one aspect is she's talking about the outer world where um, you probably have seen from any of her social media, there's uh, some fitness things going on and some workouts going on and, 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 and keeping the body alive, you know, that physical appearance side. But then aside from that is working on the inner world too. And I think this is very important to establish is that it's not just about um, some people are just fitness. Yeah, look good, look good, look good. And they don't feel good inside. You know, it doesn't matter. I've, I've met people who look extremely good, but they still don't feel confident. And then some people are like, no, it's got nothing to do with the outside. It's got all to do with the inside. And that's all. Which, in actual fact, we cannot deny. I don't think anybody here can deny that if we were to look a little bit, um, if we were to feel a little bit better with our body and we, um, um, whenever we look in the mirror, we feel better and our, let's, let's say we are in better physique, um, we, we would have more confidence, right? Everybody, it's, it's, it's normal. If, 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 we, if we feel we look good, both uh, in collaboration, it becomes a very powerful energy. And that's what I love about Jing's work is she'll be teaching you not just the, not just the inner world stuff, but the outer world stuff and how to combine the both. And this is to live your authenticity, live to your truest potential. Because what I always say is that from um, when we arrive as babies, we, on, we don't have all this fear and doubts and shame and guilt and all these, which are in the low vibrational frequencies. And basically, I, I think this process is not so much learning. It's probably the process of unlearning over the next few days where Jing will be working with you to peel back the layers. But as she mentioned before, it's very important for everybody to keep their minds open throughout the whole process. Allow for vulnerability. Understand that vulnerability is your power. Vulnerability is your power. And so open yourself up. Allow yourself to express freely. Open up all your energy points and be flowing with the divine energies of the universe. And we will find that when females in particular are able to use that feminine energy, it becomes very, very powerful force. You can literally manifest anything you want in life if you unlock those energies. If we look at all the biggest energies out there, let's say Mother Earth, why we call Mother Earth, right? If we look at water as a feminine energy also, it's very powerful in its all-encompassing mm. It knows all truth, it speaks all truth, it holds and gives unconditional love to all and holds everything together. This is the feminine energy. So I'm extremely excited for what Jing has in store for you guys. Um, she's an amazing coach. She's gotten a lot of breakthroughs for people before, like literally people being stuck in something for many, 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 many years. And suddenly after like 20, 30 years, being able to break through and start living their true authenticity. And, and, and living to their fullest potential. So I'm super excited for the next five days for you guys. I'll be popping in here and there just to check on everybody, make sure everybody's okay, everybody's doing fine. And I think, I'm, I think basically you're in safe hands. Just remember to finish what you start, that's all. You're here on day one, you're committed, you're here for a reason, probably a much bigger and divine reason than you know. So we always have the saying, we say, winners run through the finish line. So hopefully by day five, whoever I see still on day five, day five, we have a big, big, big reward for all of you. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. You guys right now need to just pay close attention, go through the learning and look forward to seeing everybody's progress through the next few days. Otherwise, I'll pass you on to the amazing Jing Fang, your leader, your trainer for the next five days. Prayers for all of you. Namaste.
Thank you so much, Master. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much, Namo Desh. Uh, yeah, so if some of you have seen me kind of like looking around, looking through, okay, so I'm just trying to, looking around different screens, that is because I am operating on two different <laughs> computers right here. So uh, my first time operating on two different computers uh, because I wanna give all of you the best experience so that I don't look through like my tiny phone screen. I wanna be able to see all your comments, okay? So just like what Master said, you know, we are going to, we're going to go through five days and we're all gonna, we all want to run through to the finish line, right? So if you want to get the most out of this experience, most learning, most transformation, promise me, promise master once again, we got to get to the finish line. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much, master. And everybody can hear me okay, right? I just want to be sure that the sound is okay. And I was, I was listening to master from the other, the other computer. There's a little bit of delay, but that's okay. And if you have fast internet, that's fantastic. So everybody got the workbook here, right? I mean, the journal, I keep calling the workbook because it is essentially a workbook. It is a companion. And what you are learning here in this five days will be also based on this journal that I put together. And girls, I just once again, want to say how thankful how happy I am here to be able to empower all of you and to have this very special moment together. And um, so I would like everybody to open your journal. Yay! Who loves the journal? Okay, at least love the design, the pink color. <laughs> Let me know in the chat box, you know, if you're not sure, you're like very confused about, you know, the exercise and everything. Let me know, like, at least you like the pink color. Let's turn to the second page. You see this like very cute little like mountain. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I want everybody to turn to the second page first is because I want to quickly tell you what we're going to be covering in this five days. So you have an idea of, you know, how, um, how we're going to be learning and also, you know, how is it going to benefit you? Okay, so who's ready? Type ready. And also in the circle, we have a tradition. We don't say ready. We say born ready. So you were born to be ready. Type in the chat box that you're born ready. If you're ready to uh, climb the mountains. <laughs> yeah, so like some of you may be like, why is a mountain? Why is it not like a winding road or something like that? Um, well, that is because in life, we always have different mountain peaks. And it's just kind of like when you go for a nice hike, when you go to climb a mountain, right? There are many obstacles and difficulties along the way. And if you see it as climbing the mountain, but you are gearing yourself up, you do the right training, you have the right amount of supplies and the food, and you have the right people to train with, you will be able to conquer each peak. So you can see this whole journey that we're going to go through in these five days as climbing Okay, not climbing mountain. Let's say like expedition. How about that? Who is adventurous here? See it as an expedition. We're going on a, let's say, you know, an expedition to Mount Himalayas, for example, or Mount Everest, Mount Kilimanjaro together. But this mountain we are climbing is our body confidence, our self-confidence. So put it this way, then you can have this adventure in your head, okay? Okay, so when you turn to this page, you will see that, you know, each day is a little flat. So when you actually have done the work each day here together with me, with the group leaders, with each other, you'll earn yourself, you'll earn yourself a little trophy. The trophy is a little flat. So you can put that flag right there and say, I've done it. Okay, so you can grab a pen and after each day, at the end of each day, you can make a tick here and go, okay, I've reached this peak. And the next day, the next peak, right? So, because all this work is not going to be done in just like one day, okay? So we have to put in the work. So you will see that today we are talking about release and heal, and we're going to go through that in a second. Today we may take a little bit longer. That is because it's our first day, and I want to make sure that we lay the foundation. So day one and day two, you will see day two is identity alchemy, okay? So Today and day two, we're actually basically going through the foundation. Okay, why am I saying that? It's because 
before we take on any task, before we start to even transform or make changes, do something new, especially when it comes to personal development, we have to make sure that we lay the foundation right. So it is absolutely important for us to go through the foundation in the first two days. And then we have day three, step out, step up. Okay, you'll find out what it is. And day four, inner glow. I bet a lot of you girls are like dying to find out what is inner glow. And day five, 100% ownership. Okay, so we're gonna go through our five days in this order, climbing the mountains. Okay, and um, while we're climbing the mountains, I would like everybody to carry this philosophy in your head, which is the philosophy of body confidence. The body, the body confidence philosophy defined by authentic energy, which is my um, personal branding. And also it's my coaching, my coaching academy. So everyone can see, I put the philosophy on the top so that we're on the same page. Um, because I know some of you may be here like hoping that you want to learn how to lose weight. So when you lose weight, you will feel more confident for yourself physically, right? <laughs> so, but, you know, I just want to make sure before we begin, I bring all you beautiful goddesses onto the same page. So we know that the whole work, the work of climbing the mountain, the expedition is based on the same philosophy that we are, uh, work, that we are basing on. Okay, so the philosophy, if you would like to read it out loud with me, I wish I could see all of you. Okay, so our body confidence philosophy goes like this. Body confidence does not depend on your physical appearance. It focuses on your authentic expression and your abilities to love and care for yourself. <laughs> I'm going to let that sink in for you guys for a bit. Conf body confidence does not depend on your physical appearance. It focuses on your authentic expression and your abilities to love and care for yourself. So can anybody tell me what is your interpretation of that? I know it's pretty straightforward, but I want to hear from everybody. When you see that, what is your reaction and what is your interpretation? Some of you may not agree with it. I don't know. Or some of you may see it for the first time. Or some of you may go, oh, okay, I never saw it this way. So let me know what is your um, interpretation, what is your response when you first see this. Or maybe you just got your, your journal printed and you're like, oh, okay, now I see it. So it's very important for us to be on the same page and knowing that you know, the, the, te the teaching, the coaching here is based on this philosophy right here, okay? and all beautiful layout. Okay, now I can take a moment to read your comments. Okay, so I'm gonna open up here too so I can read both, but I don't wanna look away from the screen. <laughs> Hello. Okay, who do we have here? Keika. Okay, that's a beautiful name. Self love. Let's go, right? Okay, beautiful. Pearl love. Be true to yourself and accept and love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Shania looks does not matter much. Yes, self love. Jennifer, beautiful. You girls. I want to give you girls like a nice, hey, go girlfriend. Self-love. Yes, self-love is a big, big topic right now. And let me know in the chat box who is big on self-love. Because what we're doing here is all about self-love. But, you know, I just have to point out that it's very easy to say, yeah, self-love, you do this, you do that for yourself. But uh, very often uh, from the uh, from the women that I've coached, the female clients I've coached, I found that actually more than half of them actually don't really know the foundation and the, the true meaning of self-love. So we're going to go through that in the next five days. Okay. So let me know if you're excited. Okay. Right. So can I ask everybody this question. Okay. When we speak about body confidence, so I just told you, my definition, our philosophy, authentic energy definition of body confidence. I want to hear from all of you. What is body confidence to you? It's okay if, I mean, I want you all to be completely honest. It is okay if you are still thinking that, you know, body confidence has a lot to do with physical appearance, which is completely okay, right? You don't need to change your, how should I say it, you know, the, um, the, the definition 
so quickly because that may have already been your definition of body confidence for quite some time. But I would like to know from everybody, what is your definition of body confidence that's been with you for a while? Okay, right. So, and write it down, write it in the workbook. What is your definition? Okay. And it is absolutely important to actually get your own words out here. Okay, I see, oh, a lot of you girls are like totally on the same page, okay, nice. Self-love is important and self-empowerment journey. Amazing, amazing. Get comfortable in your skin. Very nice, that's good. That's one of the, um, that's one of the answers I got here. <laughs> I mean, assumption, I put it down as assumption because obviously, you know, it's different for everybody, right? Beautiful. So while you girls are here, you know, with the journal and your pen, write it in your box and also type it in the chat box too. And also, I just want to quickly point out that uh, I would love to encourage everybody to use the chat box. Yeah, use the chat box as much as possible, especially with all the learnings that we're doing here. Why? Because the more you're sounding out your learning, the more you're, you know, typing, writing your learning, the more you're locking, locking your learning into your subconsciousness so that the better it is, you know. For those who don't take notes and just listen, you know, the, the, the knowledge may not sink in as much. Okay, so I highly encourage everybody to use the chat box and also take notes. Beautiful, trust yourself, Leia, very wonderful here. Very, very nice. Okay, so now we have gone through the definition and I would like to ask everybody, why? Why do you want body confidence? Why body confidence? And while you're thinking, while you're typing out your answers, I would like to tell you why I'm asking these two questions. Just like I mentioned before, before we do any changes, when we're working on personal transformation and also uh, what is the personal empowerment, we have to lay the foundation. And in the whole foundation work, we need to get clear with our why. The real why. Not just like, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to my sister's wedding next month. So, you know, like I better look good and I want to feel better because I got this event. Everybody's going to be looking at me or, um, <laughs> I mean, that's a legit reason. That is legit. Why? Um, but the why I'm seeking here is the real emotional why. Okay. So now everybody, you can write it in the chat box or in your notes, the emotional why, the why that's from your heart the why that could be in the subconscious, the why that is so strong that it makes you cry. I'll give you another example. Okay, so um, a lot of the ladies I've coached, you know, they will always tell me that, okay, I want body confidence so that I can, you know, feel more attractive, I can look more attractive, then I can, you know, attract my future partner, okay, because of the physical, you know, attractiveness. But deep down, you know, the real why, the emotional why could be that, you know, I want to be loved, you know, I feel very empty here and there's a void I need to fulfill. And that has a lot to do with the incompletion that one person has with herself, right? So I'm just giving you a very simple example. I mean, maybe not everybody would get there today, right? It will take some time, but you know, you can have a think about it, right? And when you write down your why, listen to the voice, listen to the feeling underneath that word your why and so we have tsunami tsunami to be more confident in every situation i want to live a long healthy life oh wow anna marie that's a great one we hear someone talking about health here that's beautiful feel better and confident in front of people and being comfortable comfortable every day with my body that's from hadir Beautiful. Thank you for your honesty, girls. And thank you for being so open. See, that's why, that's why we're having this girls hang out together. Girls answers for girls and girls supporting girls, right? Now, I would like to bring everybody's attention to this page, the page, the next page, where you see this big wheel here. Okay. So this wheel is very important because today we are doing release and heal. Now, some of you might be wondering, why are we doing release and heal? Why isn't it just like, hey, let's, 
create like a vision board or something like that. It doesn't work like that here because what I have found from coaching uh, hundreds of women over the past five, six years is that as women, we are naturally emotional animals, emotional beings. We carry a lot and a lot of emotions, stress, uh, painful feelings, trauma, you name it, from different you know, stages in life, from different experiences. And it is actually very hard for us to let go of a lot of the feelings, especially feelings which have been maybe affecting us, hurting us for a very long time. And the way that we see our body, here's something I want everyone to listen very carefully. The way that you perceive your body, your body image, your physical appearance has a lot to do with the way you perceive yourself inside. Okay, I'm going to let that sink in for you guys. I'm going to say this again. The way you perceive your body has a lot to do with how you perceive yourself inside. So we're talking about your internal acceptance of yourself, yourself as a whole being, not just on the physical level. Okay. So, and also with all the stress and emotions, which have been pretty much, you know, part of us, because we've been growing, you know, we've been around on earth for, I don't know, how many years, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years. So all of us are carrying a lot of emotions with us. And the emotions and the way, like I said, the way we see our body is essentially how we see ourselves inside and which has a lot to do with those emotions, those feelings. Okay. And what we're doing here today for the first part is to really kind of take those emotions out okay and get rid of them get rid of them and so that it's kind of like doing a bit of a detox right but detox not in the gut <laughs> but the detox for your soul and for your mind okay so you can remember what we're doing here today is a detox for the soul and for the mind so there are a lot of things that we need to release let go and in order to move forward we have to let go of the things which have been hurting us, which have been, you know, not serving us. And only if we allow ourselves to let go of those things, then we're able to heal. Okay. So the word healing here, um, well, you can, I don't want this to sound like a therapy. Okay. So first of all, I don't want this to sound like a therapy just because there's a word healing. But, you know, first step of healing is to identify, identify what's been, what's been hurting you. What are the wounds? So it is absolutely important when we're talking about, when we're like working on taking care of our body, we have to face, we have to face the fear. We have to face the elements which have been hurting us, which have been bothering us physically. Okay. So everybody got that, right? I took a moment to speak about this because it's coming from my heart and it's coming from my own personal experience. And you will hear a lot from me, a lot about my personal experience and why I'm so passionate about uh, women's body confidence, which I, which master spoke about at the beginning, um, many thanks to him. And I will speak more about this to you girls as well. So all oh, detox, yes, detox for the soul and the mind. That's right. So when you see this wheel, right, we're gonna go through this wheel step by step okay so you see you have okay i know you girls are getting anxious with the pen you want to write a name c and we got d and then bbs uh-huh bbs is like a radio channel tv channel <laughs> okay so and you see like you know i'm already taking notes okay you see all the um like a little word exercise here right what do these words stand for okay now in our release and heal for today our main job is based on these three elements, C, D, B, B, S. It's very easy to remember, right? So the first one, the first C, okay. Can anybody guess what is it? <laughs> that C stands for clarity, okay? So I would like to ask everyone to type in the chat box, clarity, okay? So what we did just now before, 
before we get to this page was actually doing a bit of a clarity work. What is your why? Why do you want body confidence? And what does body confidence mean to you? And like I said before, when we're doing the foundation work, we have to get absolutely clear with our wants, our needs, and our why, and also our direction. So that has to be very clear, right? So the first one is clarity. We have to get clear with what we want, what we need, and why. And the second, the second one, D. Oh, where's D? Okay, right here. D. Oh my God, I see like thousands of clarity coming through. D stands for detach. Detach, okay? Can everybody type detach? Okay, and I want you guys to do this. Okay, here, here. <laughs> this is my dance move for detach. And some of you may recognize this from my hip hop move. I used to do hip hop dancing, by the way. So like, dust off from the shoulders. So detach, detach. Okay, so next time when we do any kind of exercise, just remember, detach, detach. Okay, I'll teach you how you use that. Okay, detach, excellent. Oh, hello, Ara, good to see you here. Okay, I may not be able to read your comments all the time, uh, but if anybody here needs help, you know, with like any questions or some of you may not have your journal, feel free to um, ask in the chat box because we have a lot of group family leaders here. Um, so, um, so let me see, we have Leah Adam, she's a family leader. And could I have my beautiful family leaders, right leader, family leader in a chat box so everybody can see who you are. And if you haven't got a family leader yet, or um, yeah, if you don't know who is your family leader, just write it in the chat box, give them your email so we can find out for you. Because we got like thousands of you registered for you know this challenge. So we are doing our best to make sure that everybody is well taken care of for this challenge, okay? So back to our saying, yes, yeah, so, Okay, while you're looking for your family later, getting support from them, okay, we're gonna bring our focus back here. BBS. <laughs> okay, so we get clear with what we want, and then we're gonna do the detox. We're gonna detach. We have to detach ourselves from all the, can I swear here? Can I swear? Okay, all the shit, all the shit <laughs> that actually, all the shit that's been like, you know, putting us down. Shit that's been like killing us emotionally. All the shit that's been, you know, dragging us back. All the shit that's been holding us back from becoming that powerful, the confident version of ourselves. So we have to do our detachment, okay? I know this one's not easy. Trust me, I know. I've worked with hundreds of women and I know how it is. I'm a woman myself, right? It's so hard to detach sometimes. And I'll go through, I'll go through that in a second. Why is it so hard? And finally, Okay, finally, we gotta do our BBS. <laughs> okay, some of you are thinking, ah, okay, she's gonna swear more. She said a lot of like S H I T already. Uh, but no, 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 this is not. I'm very proper. I'm a professional. I don't always swear. Okay, but sometimes you do. Okay, you do have to swear. Okay, so BBS stands for everybody ready? First B, body, belief, system, body, belief, system. Okay. So what is body belief system? Now, we're gonna go through that in detail in a second, but I would like you to know that what we are doing here today is to help you redefine, redefine your body belief system, your belief, your belief about body, just body, body, beauty, physical appearance. We're going to redefine your truth, redefine your value for that, okay? I'll tell you in a second why we gotta do that. Okay, not saying that everything you believe in now is wrong or anything like that, but that may not be yours. Okay, we're gonna create a whole new belief system here. Okay, so everybody clear with that, right? Okay, see how good it is to have your, your journal with you, whether if it's on the iPad, on the phone, or print out. I always like everything print out, a bit old fashioned, so you can write it in. Okay, so now, anybody lost so far? So before we move on to do our like biggest part of today, could we have everybody sitting straight, just relax, drop everything for a moment. I want you to relax your shoulders. Okay, release your fingers, any tension. Close your eyes. 
And we're gonna take a deep, deep inhalation in all together. Hold for one second. And then slowly, slowly release and exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Before we open our eyes, keep your eyes closed. I would like everybody to inhale. Inhaling confidence. Hold it there. Let the confidence breath sink in. Let that breath go through to every cell in your body. And slowly exhale. You're exhaling fear and doubts. Let that out of your body. Beautiful. And when you're ready, open your eyes and let's come back here. Oh, it got so quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> I see some people went out during the breathing exercise and then jump back in after I opened my eyes. Where did you guys go? Did you go take a toilet break or um, doing their breath work um, did not interest you? So here I would just want to let you girls know why we'll take little, you know, breathing exercise here and there is because firstly, when you are breathing properly, when you're able to regulate and breathe, have proper breathing happening, this actually helps you learn better. It helps your energy flow better and it helps the uh, knowledge sinking better. Okay, firstly. And then secondly, when you do the calming breath work with me, this helps you clear your mind and this helps you create the calmness in your mind so that you're able to absorb better and you're able to receive better, especially when it comes to new knowledge and also receiving from the universe too, okay? So everybody ready to move on to do our detox for today? <laughs> okay, so there was, um, okay. So I actually want to, before I go in there, right? Okay, before we go into the main part of this, I do want everybody to like, you know, do this very quickly, answer in the chat box very quickly. You have, you have already told everybody, told, you've actually told the universe, why do you want to be body confident? Why do you need body confidence? Okay, that's very important. Because when you voice it out, that actually helps you shift your energy. The universe will work with you when you actually put it out there. Now, tell the universe, okay, tell me, and tell everybody here, what are you prepared to do? What actions are you prepared to do in order to make this happen? Because it's not just about okay, thinking about it, I'll put it on my vision board, yes, please go ahead and do that. But it also requires our actions, right? Master has said this many, many times. If we want to manifest, manifestation, law of attraction comes with the word action, right? So everybody type in the chat box, action. Okay, so what actions are you going to take in order to make this body confidence happen? Okay, I know some of you have already answered that. Okay, I'm going to keep my mind open and I'm going to play full out. That, that's good. That's a good start. Very nice. Thank you so much, leaders. I know a lot of, um, a lot of people are asking for information here. Thank you so much. I really want to um, extend another gratitude out there to thank all the group leaders here. Yes, action. What are you prepared to do? You can write it in your, in your exercise box, in your journal box. And also I do encourage all of you to share here. And I see, I keep seeing a lot of, um, a lot of names popping up. And I know, so I'll, I'll tell you girls what. Those who take the action to type in the chat box, those are the ones who will get the result, who will make the progress at the end of the five days. Okay, so I do highly encourage all of you, even if you're shy, hiding yourself behind a camera or like on your phone or something like that, you know, try to like type out, try to, you know, to, to um, put your answer in the chat box. Don't be shy, you know, because we can't see your face. You have nothing to lose. We just see your beautiful name and your beautiful profile picture there and your 
your contribution for the universe. Because when you are typing out in the chat box, it's not for me, it's for yourself. And it's also your communication with the universe. So don't be shy. Now I start to see more names popping out. Trust me, this will make a shift to your energy and to your confidence result the more that you participate in class. So don't be shy. I know all of you want some results, right? Beautiful. Be gentle to myself and treat my body with respect and love by having a healthy lifestyle. I like that, Anjana. Wow. You girls are amazing. And what, what else are you prepared to do? I see affirmations. Okay, great. Affirmations, action, action. Affirmations and actions are good combo. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. Meditation exercise. Very nice. Wow, I see a lot of long answers coming. Thank you so much, girls. Make sure you lock it in into your, into your subconscious too. Okay, so after you're typing, it goes in there. You can also write it out again. Now, here comes maybe the uncomfortable part. What has been bothering you for, I don't know, you can tell us. What has been bothering you when it comes to your physical appearance? Is it that, you know, you constantly receive comments from family, from friends, or it depends on what industry you're in. Because I know for a lot of ladies, sometimes we're in certain industries which require, require a certain physical appearance and our presentation, which could also be a big, big social pressure. I call it social pressure, a big, so, uh, like mental, mental stress. Especially, do we have any musicians or any actresses and uh, performers here? you know, uh, or even girls working PR, marketing. Um, a lot of times, you know, like actually most of the time you're required to present yourself in a certain way, right? You're, pre you're also, uh, you could be pressured or asked by your agents, those who are actors, to actually keep your body in a certain shape, right? I've heard a lot of that from a lot of my uh, performer friends, that they constantly feel pressure to stay in a certain shape and size, um, doesn't matter if they're actually healthy, but it's just what's required. And that actually gives them a lot of mental stress. So let us know in the chat box, what's been bothering you? Okay. It could also be something that's just internal. That's, that's absolutely okay as well. And how long has it been? How long has it been bothering you? This is a safe space. It's very safe and supportive. You can see all our family leaders, a female too, <laughs> a girls who have, who were just like you, you know, many months ago, who were going through the same body image struggles and same um, body confidence issues. But today <laughs> they've made, they've taken the action and gone through the transformation. And today they're here to help all of you. <sighs> oh, wow. Thank you for sharing. I see a very truthful answer here from Abba. People don't bother to understand what you've been through. They just comment on your appearance. Uh, I'm uncomfortable with my skin. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Four or five years, confusion, not clear mind towards what one needs. Body shaming. Yeah, I know. I know all about body shaming. I've been body shamed. It's just like, I hear you girls. I hear you. It's just like, no matter how much we work on ourselves, it's never enough, right? There's always another voice there telling you that you're not doing enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, you're not muscular enough, or different things. It's, it's a never ending, it's a rabbit hole, you know? But I don't want you girls to go there, right? Sound it out, just sound it out here, okay? And we're not gonna go back to that again, promise me that, okay? And sometimes I compare myself to others. Oh, Vashali, thank you for mentioning that. That's a really, really good one. Okay. And we're going we're gonna to touch on that in a second. So thank you so much, girls, for sounding it out. So now you take a moment. Take a moment and listen to your words. Listen to all these things that have happened to you for however long. And did you know that your body can hear these words as well? So the more that we carry these emotions, these words, people's opinions, and social pressure within us inside our system, in this body, the more our body suffers. 
which is why I put a quote here. I want you all to lock this quote inside, inside your system, that your body can hear everything that's on your mind. So isn't it very important that we need to keep our mind <laughs> positive, healthy, and clean? <laughs> it's okay to have some like, you know, naughty thoughts. That's okay. You know, the healthy, dirty, naughty thoughts, they're okay. <laughs> but not, do not, do not, do not like, you know, clog your mind with a lot of like negative, dirty, you know, crap all the time because your body will hear that too. And the shape and size and the health condition, I don't usually want to associate right away with the shape and sizes. Even though I have been working as a body transformation weight loss coach for many years, but what I have realized is that a lot of times one person's you know body shape and the weight has definitely has a lot to do with one's emotion, emotional state, and mental state. But a lot of times, it definitely has to do with lifestyle too. Okay, so we're gonna cover that in the next couple of days. But for today, we're focusing on detoxing. Okay, great. Now here's the fun part. This part, you want to stay here for this part. And I know that, you know, <laughs> in this day and age, everybody wants something quick. Instant noodle, you know, Instagram, instant boyfriend, not just kidding, <laughs> an instant result. But we have to do the work and we have to be patient and go through the journal to get, go through the journey, yes, and the journal here to get the result. So nothing comes instantaneously, but I'll tell you what, there are some, there are some very powerful formulas that I know that I'm going to show you girls tomorrow and on day three that you can use to instantly shift your energy and shift your confidence. So you have to promise me first that you do the work here today first, okay? Play full out, and then you will be able to learn properly and go, ah, oh, I see what she means now in the next few days, okay? Everything is designed to be in order and step by step. Okay, so everybody flip to this beautiful page with the, the lady figure. I try my best, I, I, I promise you, I try my absolute best to look for the most, most, I should say, friendly, <laughs> politically correct female body here so that it does not offend anybody, you know, not like, I try, like seriously, I try really hard, you know, but the choices are very limited. So I thought, hey, this girl's got some curves and she may, you know, she, she does not represent all of us. Okay. That's what I want to say. So, you know, I'm very conscious. I mean, very, I'm very mindful when it comes to picking pictures. Okay. Okay. Right. So here's this, this, this exercise we're going to do together. I'm going to give you girls a couple minutes. Okay. I'm going to play some nice songs, give you a couple minutes and I would like you all to write down in the bubbles, you see there are five bubbles here, right? So we are doing detoxing, detaching. What are we detaching ourselves from? So I put all the shit, okay, okay, please do not repeat after me, okay? This is how I talk sometimes. I put all the crap into five main bubbles, five main category bubbles, which are memories, okay? Memories could be anything that's happened to you from childhood, teenagehood, or any hood right? Anything that's happened to you in the past that is, how should you say, very strong, that has that very, very strong impact for mental or emotional sort of influence, especially on your body image, on your body, write it down. Because I'll give you an example, right? Um, actually, though, my mind's more in the other bubble. I'll tell you in a second. So anything from the memory, something that happened to you, uh, something that happened at the party or something someone said that's, you know, in a particular scenario, write it down. Okay. So some, so think about things which were very hurtful, which were really, really impacting you, impacting the way you see your body, the way you see yourself, write them in here. Internal dialogue. I put a big bubble here because I know that we all have a lot of internal dialogue. So that's why maybe if you need more room, you can just write it outside. What kind of like uh, self-talk that you have? self-sabotaging kind of talk you have write it in here okay um and the next door is social pressure just like the example that i gave you girls before if you are in a particular industry or even if you are you know not in the acting performing industry there could still be some kind of social pressure from different you know directions right telling you that you need to like 
do something about your body, you need to do something about your physical appearance and things like that, you can write it in there. And then this is a big part, emotions, okay? And I see that one of the girls here commented about, you know, when I compare myself to others, right? How many of you can relate to that? You know, whenever you go on Instagram, whenever you kind of like uh, naturally compare yourself to others, what sort of feelings do you have? How does it make you feel? If it makes you feel like, oh my God, I'm not good enough. I'm like, ah, oh, angry. Or it makes you feel like, oh, I should just give up. Those are legit feelings you have. Put your feelings in here. And I do want to point out that this five days is going to be a very special learning experience where we learn to get in touch with our feelings too. So that's a huge part of what we're doing. So I do encourage all of you to be as open as possible, not only keeping your mind open, but also keep your heart open. Let your feelings come out and let yourself really, really be connected with what's happening here. The good feelings, yes. The bad feelings, you have to recognize it and take it out too. Don't hide it. Don't squash it down. Don't, don't like suppress it down, okay? Take it out. And then the opinions. This one is also a big bubble, okay? I know you girls are probably writing down already. So while you're writing, I'm just explaining them one by one. Opinions, other people's opinions. So I know from my personal experience in the past, I have been very affected by other people's opinions. Like what they say about me as a fitness coach, what they say about like, oh, you should look like this, you should lose some weight, you know, you'll have more followers, you have more students. If you lose like 10, 15 pounds, you will have like those rip ab look, right? Those, those were like, those were really, how should I say it, hurtful, not hurtful, okay. Those were kind of like a, a strong social pressure plus other people's opinion that actually made a lot of damage on me mentally and physically too. So I'll share more about that story in the coming days. And maybe some of you have heard that from me and uh, from the talk I did with Amy last week. Um, you know, like it's also Amy also shared, you know, beautiful Yugini Amy. She also shared that in the sports industry, she also suffers from a lot of like social pressure and the coach's opinion to stay in a certain shape and size. So I want all of you to write out, write out everything that's been bothering you everything that's been really like almost like not manipulating you know define the way you see your body it's actually due to the fact that they come from external sources so you can also see that all of these things are actually coming from external sources now some of you are going to ask me what about internal dialogue how is that from outside it's from inside hmm what you think about yourself what you think and how you speak to yourself is mostly to do with what you hear from the outside. True or true? <laughs> you only have one answer, true. It's mostly to do with what you learn, what your school tells you, what your parents, friends tell you, what the belief, the common belief system tells you. Okay, we're gonna get to that in a second. Other people's beliefs. A lot of times our own belief it's not really our own belief. It's actually what we hear from others. Other people's beliefs, we hear it, and then it becomes our own belief. So I'd like to see all of these bubbles are actually external. And now some of you are like, you know, you told us not to look at it again. Why are you telling us to write it out again? See this as a purge. Okay, we have to do the purge. Purge it, you know, t release it, let it out. And how many of you are writing down Okay, if you're done writing it, let me know. And you can share some of it, just little bits and pieces. Okay, you don't need to share all of it. Just share some of it in the chat box so that, you know, we see how many people can relate. And what I want you to do to detach from these, um, these bubbles, <laughs> these bubbles of things, which tell yourself that they don't serve you. Okay, we have to detach ourselves ourselves from these bubbles or things which don't serve you, don't serve your body, don't serve your self-empowerment. How are we going to detach them? I'll give you two simple ways to do it. Okay. It depends on which way you want to take. First, you can take out a big, big, thick pen. Uh, let me see if I have a thick one here. Okay. 
a big, big, thick marker and cross out the words. Cross out whatever words that you have written here. Cross it out, like this big kind of cross, like psh, psh. Say goodbye to them or just scribble all over. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, you can also draw and scribble on this body. Like if it's a particular body part that you haven't been happy with, you can circle it out <clears throat> and just write down why say your boobs or your booty, not booty, <laughs> your hips, your legs have not been, you know, your favorite body part. You can write it out here too. Okay. So the body is here for a reason. Okay. First method. Okay. You can take out a marker and just cross out everything, cross out the words. That's method number one, okay? Method number two, this one is more extreme, but more powerful, is this page, I want you to rip it out. You're like, huh, really? Rip it out, rip out this page, okay? Rip it out, okay, but after you've done, make sure that you get everything out, right? Like squeeze out every toxin out of your body, out of your system, onto this page, and then you rip out this page, Rip out this page and rip it into pieces. Rip it into pieces. <laughs> Please don't litter. And um, I want you all to do this exercise very safely, okay? Rip into pieces, uh, flush down the toilet. Um, you know, if you have a very, you know, not so good you know, um, toilet system, then don't flush it down, okay? Toss it into the bin or some of you safely, if you want to burn it, if that makes you feel good, you can burn it. Okay, so this is a tiny, this is a little uh, example of a release ritual that we do inside our body confidence coaching. One of the examples that we do to release the, the pain, to release ourselves from the past, to detach ourselves from all the words, all the things which don't serve ourselves. So you guys got that? You can either use a marker or you can rip out this page. <laughs> rip it out and just rip it into pieces. So I'll leave that up to you, which one you want to do. Let me see. Tara and Berna, Alita. All right, I like that. She's so like, you know, she's very certain about it. I'm just gonna tear it and rip it into pieces. <laughs> Tsunami, LOL. Okay, LOL, which part I said? Is it my swear words again? <laughs> okay, good work, girls. Really, really good work. And okay, those of you, Listen very carefully. This is the fun part. Those of you who are doing the tearing, the tearing us upon, no, tearing of this page or burning. Okay, seriously, if you are doing the burning part, I do want you to be safe, okay? I wanna make the disclaimer here, okay? If you do choose to burn it or whichever way that may involve some you know, hazard, please be very safe, okay? And if you're living in an environment which does not encourage that, please don't do it. Because the most safe way is to rip it out and rip it into pieces and, and toss it. Okay, something just fell. No problems. Um, and rip it into pieces. That's it. Okay. So promise me, be very safe. And when you do do that, give me a second. And when you do do that, you can take a photo. Oh, I don't know why that action just got a lot of people coming in. When you do do that, take a photo, take a video and show everybody. Okay, show us in the in the in the creator circle in the community how you do it, and like you know, this is me saying goodbye, detaching myself from all these words which don't serve me. Okay, feel free to share. Okay, everybody, okay, okay, everyone, deep inhaling, and slowly, slowly breathe out. Okay, we are back. Is everybody okay with um, detachment? Detach. Beautiful. So those who stay to the end are the winners. And just like what Master and I said at the beginning of today's class, we have five days together. So we want everybody to get to the finish line and learn step by step. And especially, especially day one. Day one is the most important moment when we're working on the foundation, where we're actually take out the things which actually have been causing all the problems for us. So we need to go through this, this step. And do not miss anything. I know some of you may come back and watch the replay later. That'll be great. 
yeah so for whichever reason you have to go to work and all that that's okay but make sure you catch the replay and do the homework i do have homework for all of you and i will tell you the homework shortly <laughs> We are coming towards the end of today. Okay, we got just this final leg to go. And everybody's still okay here, right? <laughs> it's not going to take up too much of your time. So let's stay patient. Let's stay attentive and stay with yourself. That's the most important part. Have that energy, have that energy connected. So this way you would not feel like you're constantly having your mind scattered everywhere. You're constantly feeling anxious about going all over the place. And that is also a very important part of your self-confidence, your body confidence building. By having your energy grounded, having your energy all here, and have your focus right here. Can we do that? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So now the next part is the BBS. We have the BBS. Everybody's very excited about BBS, right? Your body belief system. Now, we've taken out all the words which come from the external sources, right? The words which have been said about what is a beautiful body supposed to be, you know, what is your body should be from parents, from school, from friends, wherever. Now, I want you all to go through this exercise very quickly. It's okay if you don't get to do it now. It's all right. You know, I don't expect everybody to finish filling all the, you know, all the blanks during class. But if you can do it now, that's great. Okay. So what I want you girls to go through is you have to go through this in order, right? This set of questions. Firstly, what are your immediate thoughts about body? Okay. So when I say, okay, body, what are the first words that spring to your mind? Don't think. Like, I want you to rely on your instincts. When I say body, go, everybody, type in the chat box. When I say body, what would you say? <laughs> body, beauty, body, head, body, bikini, body, boss. I don't know. I'm just trying to make up something. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, body, beautiful. Body, born ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think this is for the last, the last answer. Body energy, nice one, Sama. You know, here in Vancouver, we have a uh, like a, it's a smoothie supplement store called the Body Energy Club. <laughs> I love that name, actually. Body energy, okay. Curves, nice one, Jacqueline. Perfect. Wow, Stifa. Body vessel, very good, Sarah. You're quite a low of attraction coach, eh? Body beautiful, beautiful home. Love that. Pan Panty, temple home. Nalea, wow, healthy. Oh, wow, nice. Beautiful, amazing, unique. Utah, beautiful, confident, comfortable. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now you have all these positive words, right? Very nice. And just think about where and who did the thoughts come from? Just have a quick think. Was it really from you? Or was it, or was it from somewhere else? And if there's anything negative, okay, so like I know that while we're saying all these like beautiful words, subconsciously, trust me, I know it's there. Subconsciously, there are still some words associated with body, which are related to a certain social standard for the body. Like for example, we say body beautiful, but what defines beautiful body, right? It could be like, oh, you know, it has to have like abs, it has to be like size, whatever, zero, or like Victoria's Secret Angel Body, that kind of stuff. I know subconsciously, a lot of us have been brainwashed to think of the beautiful body to be in that kind of definition. True or true? And no matter, like, because a lot of these answers I get from you are definitely your conscious answers. Consciously, you're like, yeah, should be this, should be that. But subconsciously, I believe there's still some of those, like, uh, the conditioning, the social conditioning sitting there. So I do want you to also note those down. You can write them out, write them out there. And now this is your time to think about, okay, so where did I see those things? Who told me about, say, you know, Victoria's Secret Angels? Oh, they have such nice bodies. I wish I had their body. Oh, trust me. I was thinking like that too. And also whoever is the, um, the hottest celebrity, they usually set the beauty standard, right? Like for example, like the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the Kardashians brought the booties back 
right? There hasn't been a culture where we embrace curves and big bottom until recently when the Kardashians, you know, um, they, they kind of brought that trend. I don't know if it was ever in trend or they just create a trend. So a lot of times the standard is really up to uh, the pop culture or a certain social standard and the time and the era. Okay, so I want you guys to write this down. Where do the thoughts and the beliefs come from about body? Okay. And oh, okay, that's a good one. Thank you for sharing with us, U Uma. My ex was always complaining. Oh, okay, so I do want to point out that a lot of times, when us women we uh, suffer from a lot of uh, body image pressure and issues, is actually due to the fact that our other half, our partner, um, may actually make some hurtful, you know, comments, and you know, yeah, subtly give us the pressure. So that could also be something that's a huge influence and we'll go through that in the next couple of days. Okay, so now you have, maybe some of you have to identify where did the thoughts come from? Where did all those voices come from? Now I want you to think, okay, I'm talking about like, you know, the, the social conditioning voices. Are they true though? For example, if your mom always tells you that, hey, you need to lose weight, you know, if you don't lose weight, okay, this is coming from, you know, like the Asian culture. If you don't lose weight, nobody's going to marry you, for example. <laughs> How many of you have heard that before, especially those from, you know, the, the Asian background, you know, if you don't look, you know, if you don't get yourself together, look like whoever, whoever, nobody's going to marry you, you know, nobody's going to talk to you, for example, or like, <clears throat> no one's going to hire you. How many have you heard that before? Mm. So, <laughs> social media, television, oh my God. Social media, television, that's a very good one. I was at Tsunami, okay, I love your name, Tsunami. We're making tsunami waves here, <laughs> right? So, are they true though? Let me know in the chat box. If they're not true, okay, write it down. If they're not true, then what is your new belief about your body? Now here, we're redefining your body belief. Previously, everything that you wrote in the bubbles, like the bubbles you're gonna burn and tear up, and also the some of the words you wrote above this box, okay, those actually come from other people's belief, okay? Other people's belief system. So they're not yours. You thought they were your words, that you thought they were your internal dialogue all this time, and those that you had those um, other people's belief system, you know, pressuring you to look a certain way, to look a certain way. But now I want you to recognize that they are not yours. They're not your body belief system. They come from, I don't know, school, mom and dad. Mom and dad get their belief system from probably their mom and dad and I don't know, other older generations, right? So if those actually if don't, if you don't agree with them, right, if they're not true to you, then what is your new truth? What is your body belief system? Now you have to write it down here. But when you do this exercise, uh, I do want you to take a moment after today and do this, do this wholeheartedly, okay? And put emotions when you do it. Because I do want you to write out your answer from your subconscious, your subconscious feeling. Not just like, okay, yes, you know, uh, so-and-so said about this. So I think that's my new belief system. You have to make sure that the words you write in your new belief system aligns with how you feel. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Your new belief system has to align with how you feel. Who you are. <laughs> does this uh, does this align with your values think about those things okay do we have some answers coming in? my body is my temple yes our body is our temple how many of you believe that we are spiritual beings living a human life here if you believe that type yes in the chat box and so that we're here to experience this human life we have to absolutely take care of this body not just in the health way, of course, you know, we're gonna make sure our health is in tip top condition, which is why I say the body confidence is also about taking care of your body. You know what your body needs and you know how to take care of your body. So we cannot be ignorant of our health condition, but also at the same time, we have to take care of our emotions because our body hears everything. Our body feels everything that we feel. 
So it's not just a physical job here. We're dealing with body, mind, and spirit all together to take care of our temple. Okay. So I do want all of you after today's session to take a moment and go through all of them and go through, especially this box, to write down what is your new belief system. And tomorrow we are going to we are going to actually need it for tomorrow's work. And and before like I end today, it's gonna be fun. Okay, this is something we're gonna do together. I just want to tell you girls that you have homework. Ah, okay. Remember what I said? You're gonna play Fallout, right? So if you don't want to play Fallout, if you don't do the homework, it's okay. I'm not gonna get pissed off, right? You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for yourself. And I know that all of you have committed your time and your energy, your presence here today and for the next four days for this whole week to help yourself improve. You want to elevate yourself. You want to elevate yourself physically and mentally. You're here to elevate your confidence. So you have to put in the work. Okay, so promise me, everyone, you're going to do the homework. So what is homework? We have a page here. So this page is for all the notes to lock in your learning. Anything, um, you know, that say, for example, your aha moments, anything that you really like, you learned today, you typed out in the chat box, write it out. Okay, because when you write it, when you see it, you feel it and you speak it, the more you do, the more you're interacting with your learning, the more you are improving and the faster you see a result. So promise me, write it down, see it, feel it and speak it. Okay, so locking your learning. Now, the homework, it's very simple. Okay, let's see who are the action takers here. All right. So firstly, I would like to invite everybody to go inside our creator circle group to do a live video, do a live video, share your aha moment from today. It could be one aha moment, could be two, could be three. I'm not gonna give you a limit, okay? Uh, usually keep it around one, two, three. One, two, three aha moment from today. And you can actually write down the title, like BC5, Body Confidence Five Day Challenge. So BC5 day one, aha moment. That's what you can type. And share with us what is your biggest aha moment from today's learning, okay? The more you speak it, the more you share your learning, the better you learn, and also the more you're collaborating with the universe. <laughs> yes, the more you speak it, the more you put it out there, and the more the universe is hearing you. The universe is like, oh, okay, right, she's speaking it. She's, she means serious business. Okay, I'm going to get her back. I'm going to have her back. I'm going to collaborate with her and support her on this journey. So please speak it out. And I know some of you probably have never done any live, uh, live video in Facebook before. Don't be shy. You can speak with your group leader, your family leader, and you can speak with you know, all the women here. And we are here to help you. We're here to help you how to <laughs> go live. And it's okay, you know, this is your day one. We're gonna start building up the confidence bit by bit, okay? And there's no better way to build confidence than taking the action. Taking the imperfect action. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. I want you all to write this down. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. So if right now you feel like, oh, I've never done live before. Oh my God, I'm going to freak out. But Jean said that I have, I have to take the action. I have to feel the fear. But I mean, I, I feel the fear, but I have to take the action anyway then I'm just gonna go do it <laughs> because I know it's good for me, so I have to do it. Okay, so promise me, try, okay? Okay, don't, don't, don't try, just do it. And you will feel a massive, a massive relief, trust me, if it's your first time doing live and you, you told yourself that I'm never the kind of person who can do live, why, why, why don't you shift, your, shift the thought pattern and tell yourself that today is release and heal, right? And we've gone through a lot of work today to detach ourselves from the past, from the things which don't serve us. And how about you take this moment to detach yourself from the fear of not showing up, the fear of I'm afraid of it, the fear of being judged or the fear of, uh, it's just not saying fear, detach yourself from the habit of hiding, detach yourself from playing safe. How about that? Detach yourself from doing something that you have always done. 
because they say that if you have always taken the same actions, you get the same results. So now all of you are here, I believe all of you are here to get a different result in your life. So isn't it important for you to take different actions? So go live and share your aha moments, okay? You can also tag your group leader if you like. Uh, you can tag my name if you are already friends with me. Uh, feel free to tag so I can see all of you. I want to go and watch all of your live aha moments because I want to see how is, it, how is everybody learning these few days, okay? All right, your second homework, connect with your family leader. That's a very straightforward one, right? So if you don't know who is your family leader, um, just write in the comment now if you're watching right now and also reach out to us. Uh, we have uh, about eight different family leaders and the family leaders have already emailed you and messaged you on Facebook. And I believe a lot of them have already made a post inside the group and typing out your name. So please reach out to them if you see your name. If you haven't got a family leader, do let me know. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Yeah, so why we have family leaders. So we put all of you into different groups to help you, to help you learn better. Because I know that it's very amazing we're spending this one, one and a half hours together. Um, but after the live, you know, I'm sure a lot of you still have a lot of questions and you, know, you wanna ask about different things. So it's actually, we want to create this experience where you know, we put you into different you know, groups, women only, with women leaders, so that everybody is supported. We can give you the best experience, the best support and the best coaching throughout these five days. So feel free to reach out to your leaders, your family leaders, and enjoy, enjoy the sisterhood inside your group, right? And I'll pop into your groups here and there and just to see how's everything going. Yes, so leaders, we have Kimi Du, we have Caroline, Erica, and we have Sama, Rina, Leia, uh, who else? And Sati, yes. So all the beautiful ladies here, they're here to help you. They're your group leaders, okay? And all our group leaders are actually from all over the world. So sometimes if they don't respond to your message, um, don't get mad at them. <laughs> That's because they're probably sleeping in their side of the world. And that is one of the beauties of us coming together here from different parts of the world. We're here to support one another and we're here to empower one another, okay? So, um, and I have a gift for you. The last homework is very simple. Go to my YouTube link right here and you can listen to my confidence affirmation, uh, which is actually quite popular. A lot of people love my confidence affirmation. They listen to it for about 21 days. They listen to it for, uh, I know someone who listened to it for 14 days and they start to feel the, the, the shift in them as well. But remember, it's not just about listening to affirmations. Affirmations and aligned actions can get you the result. So you still have to take actions and do the homework, not just listening to the affirmations. Okay, so this is your homework for today. And do make sure that you reach out to your family leaders. And if you have any questions, you know, you can still come back to this live and type your questions in the chat box. And I know a lot of you are probably anxious to get going <laughs> and I'm very thankful that the majority of you have stayed here till the end. You're all winners. And because you're all winners, I have a gift for you tomorrow. You don't want to miss out tomorrow. So come here earlier tomorrow, come here five minutes earlier. I'll be here way, way, way earlier to start a dance party first. Come here five minutes earlier so that we can actually chat. Come here earlier so I can actually share tomorrow before we begin, I'm gonna share a secret, a secret formula with all of you. When you use that secret formula, you will feel that instant shift, that instant shift in you. That shift is gonna help you doubling your confidence. That shift, that shift is gonna help you change your thinking pattern. And if you're going through any sort of like relationship issues right now, any work or family, any life situation right now, that formula is going to make the shift for you okay so are you excited if you're excited make sure you come here five minutes early tomorrow okay and i will be here to share that that secret formula with you and also if you ha have any questions for me then you come here early then we can hang out <laughs> before we begin so before we go i want to invite so those of you who do have to go feel free to you know you have to get to work or anything like that but 
we have to go back to this thing. Oh, I, I love it. Okay, so if you go to the second page, we have a body confidence mantra. Okay, I didn't want you all to look at the mantra at the beginning is because this mantra, this mantra basically seals, it seals everything in. Okay, so it is very important at the end of each session that we wrap everything up by sealing the deal with this powerful mantra, this body confidence mantra. So if you're ready, we can read out this mantra together. But when we are reciting the mantra together, when we're sealing you know, everything together, we gotta make sure that we read out the mantra with emotions, full emotions and full, full connection, the energy and connection here. Okay, so I do encourage all of you to read this mantra. You can do it in the morning or in the evening. But here, while we're learning, before I let you girls go, <laughs> I have to do this because I always believe in having a beautiful beginning and having a beautiful end. So let's end today's class with a beautiful ending. <laughs> okay, so when you're ready, okay, have your mantra ready. You can put your hand on your heart. Okay. And when we're ready, let's read it out together. I love my body. I love my whole being. I nourish my body, mind, and spirit with goodness. I am the creator of my confidence. Confidence flows to me as I release fear. Confidence flows to me as I follow my heart. I surround myself with love, joy, and peace. I believe in my strength and my beauty. I am open to change. I am open to new energies. I am the creator of my confidence. And my confidence is here now. Wow, doesn't that feel amazing after reciting this with full emotions and full connection? So I highly encourage all of you to read this out to yourself twice a day if you like, or as many times as you like. And for some of you who want to go live and practice go live, you can read this out live too and put it out there in the universe. So I want to thank all of you for tuning in today to spend this beautiful day one together. And I just realized I forgot to introduce myself. I know Master introduced me, but I forgot to introduce myself by myself. So my name is Jean, Jean Fan. I am a personal transformation coach. I have helped, I have helped hundreds of women in the past five, six years to transform their body, transform their life and healthy lifestyle. And my goal and my mission is here to help women from all backgrounds, all shapes and backgrounds to live a happy, healthy and confident life. Sometimes I call it to help you girls live a kick-ass life. If you like that, then remember it. Jean's here to help you live a kick-ass life. She's here to help women. All right. So if you guys have more questions about what I do, my background and everything, I know I didn't do a proper introduction. I got too excited. Feel free to, you know, type your questions in the chat box. And um, thank you so much once again, girls. And thank you for staying here with the extra time that I took. Um, I really appreciate your time and your patience. And I want to say a big thank you to Master Shri once again for coming here. And also our lovely group leaders, our eight lovely group family leaders, please do reach out to them. And lastly, I want you all to give yourselves a big hand for making it to the finish line for day one, releasing and heal, okay? I look forward to your aha moments. So let's get the camera rolling. I'm gonna go inside the group right away to see your aha moments. All right, thank you so much, girls. And I'll see you tomorrow. Be here five minutes earlier or 10 minutes earlier. Let's see who are the action takers. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow.